Hello and welcome to the show. I am Joe Topat. You know, Who Framed Roger Rabbit happens to be one of my all-time favorite movies. Where else can you find a movie that features all your favorite cartoon characters from many different studios? Yeah, sure, there's cartoon artist stars to the rescue, but one that isn't an anti-drug PSA. You know, the weird thing about Who Framed Roger Rabbit is that Despite how big the movie is, no sequel has ever been made. And that's not due to a lack of trying. Since the 1990s, many attempts have been made to bring Roger Rabbit 2 to the big screen. As recently as 2013, Gary K. Wolf, the creator of Roger Rabbit, had proposed a movie that was all animated that starred Mickey Mouse and Roger Rabbit in the movie called The Stooge. And the only thing that came from that is a poster. The many attempts to make Roger Rabbit 2 reminded me of another movie. Ghostbusters. Okay, I know there is a Ghostbusters 2, but what there isn't is a Ghostbusters 3. At least not in movie form. You see, after the many attempts to make Ghostbusters 3 begin in the 90s, back in 2009, there was Ghostbusters the video game. Harold Ramis and Dan Aykroyd all agree that this is essentially the third movie. In fact, the game developers have confirmed that they wanted to call this Ghostbusters 3 and include a logo on here. But Sony wanted a movie, so that's why this is not called Ghostbusters 3. But to all of us fans, this is Ghostbusters 3. Where am I going with all this? Well, instead of making Roger Rabbit 2 as a movie, why not make it as a video game? I mean, this is the closest Ghostbusters fans will have of a third movie. I mean, it was able to get the four Ghostbusters, Janine and Walter Pack, to come back to voice their characters. And it's an awesome video game. I love this game. And... You could do the same thing with Roger Rabbit. Now, I know Charles Flasher was voicing Roger, so it's no big deal to get him to come back to voice Roger. But for some of the human characters, like Dolores, and maybe, and maybe uh, Judge Doom, the actors are old, but you can get them to come back to voice the characters. Look, I know that Judge Doom died in the movie, but Ghostbusters the video game was able to bring back Stay Puff and Slimer, and, but they explain why. Just give a BS reason why Judge Doom is back. I mean, you could say it's not really Judge Doom. You could say it's a completely different character disguised as Judge Doom and just have Christopher Lloyd come back to voice him. Now, I never have to address the elephant in the room, and that elephant is Bob Hoskin is, is dead. That is unfortunate that he died, but you see, the thing of it is, is that in this game, Michael J. Fox did not come back to voice Marty. At least not the main Marty. He came back to voice him as an older version, but they hired an actor who sounded so much like Michael J. Fox that when my dad walked in the room while I was playing this game, he thought it was Michael J. Fox and was shocked that when I told him no, it was an actor who pretended to be Michael J. Fox. So for Roger Rabbit, the video game, you can hire an actor to sound like Bob Hoskins, and people would actually believe it's him. I mean, just get the family to approve of the use of his likeness. Roger Rabbit does not work without Eddie Valiant. That was the problem I had with the prequel ideas or any of the sequels, like Rod the Roger Rabbit and the Mickey Mouse movie. Despite the fact that Roger Rabbit's name is in the title, Eddie is the main focus. I mean, he was the main focus of the, in the original book who censored Roger Rabbit. 
as well as the two sequels. So, Roger Rabbit does not work without Eddie Valiant. He needs to be in this game. This video game could go two different routes. You see, Ghostbusters the video game told one complete story. So that's why this was essentially the third movie. So maybe Roger Rabbit the video game can tell one complete story like Ghostbusters the video game. Or it could go the route of Back to the Future the video game which is divided into different segments. It does tell one complete story, a lot like the trilogy, but it's still standalone segments. Maybe each segment could be about Eddie and Roger solving a case. Maybe the first segment of a video game could be about Mickey Mouse hires Eddie to solve a case. Maybe they can do Goofy being wanted as a spy, and or Donald Duck's nephews being kidnapped. Or maybe Uncle Scrooge's money, Ben, has disappeared and Eddie is brought in with the help of Roger to figure out where it went. And maybe Judge Doom could be at the center of the whole thing. Maybe it's not the real Judge Doom. I don't know. And maybe like Ghostbusters the video game, each segment can pay tribute to all things Roger Rabbit. Maybe they can have a poster of the original book. Maybe they can incorporate the free short cartoons that Roger starred in back in the 90s. They might even include a poster of Mickey and Roger. I don't really know the story this game could have. I, there's a lot I haven't thought of, but it just seems like such a shame to waste a great character like Roger Rabbit. So, Gary K. Wolf, Robert Zemeckis, Steven Spielberg, Whoever, if any of you guys see this video, try to make this game happen. Maybe you can make it better than anything I can think of. Like, and just dedicate the whole thing to Bob Hoskins. This game could be the Roger Rabbit 2 you've been trying to make all these years, but haven't succeeded. I mean, just don't do nothing with Roger. Find a way. You don't even need to have every cartoon character like the Looney Tunes or the Flashers or whoever in it. Like if you just want to keep it the Disney characters, keep it that way. But if you can incorporate multiple characters from the various studios, try. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think. And if you come up with ideas better than what I can come up with, just let me know. See you later.